Give me my boy. Take the baby. I'm going over and shoot dice with the boys for about a half hour. All right, honey, but please, only for please, a half hour. Sarah, good evening, I promise. Ah. Good evening, Mariah. Hi, Mariah. Hiya there, Mingo. Hi, Jake. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Honey, don't play tonight. Do like I say. I've been sweating all day. Night time is man's time. He got a right to forget his troubles. He got a right to play. If you hadn't been drinking, you wouldn't talk to me this way. <laughs> My old lady's hell on saving money to join the burying lodge. I say spend it, baby, while you're still alive and kick you're it. Right, Come on, baby. You're right, baby. You're right, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come, seven, come to Pappy. Throw that beautiful number. Come, seven to me. Yeah, man. I'll bet he's wrong. I'll bet he's right. Getting hot. Come, seven, shoot. And you more is good looking. Made it. He made it. Sleep yet? Give him to me, honey. I'll fix him for you. <laughs> Listen to your daddy warn you before you start a traveling. Woman may born you, love you, and mourn you, but a woman is a sometime thing. Yes, a woman is a sometime thing. Oh! A woman is a sometime thing. Your mammy is the first to name you. Then she'll tie you to a apron string. Then she'll shame you and she'll blame you till your woman comes to claim you. Cause a woman is a sometime thing. Yes, a woman is a sometime thing. Oh, is a sometime thing. Don't you never let a woman grieve you just cause she's got your wedding ring. She'll love you and deceive you, then she'll take your clothes and leave you. Cause a woman is a sometime thing. Yes, a woman is a sometime Thing. Yes, sir, a woman is a sometime thing. Yes, sir, a woman is a sometime There now. You take over, honey. 
funny man. Here come the funny man. Yes, ma'am, this the honey man. You got honey in the comb. Yes, ma'am, I got honey in the comb. And it's your honey cheap. Yes, ma'am, my honey very cheap. Here come the honey man. How are you, Peter? You have a good day? Yeah. Good. Oh, oh Peter, give me the money. Now you go sit down and rest. Good evening, ladies. Hi. Hello, boy. Hi. Here's the old crap shark now. Now we'll have a game. Luck's been riding mighty high with Porky today. I got a handful of money. Goes to the first man who's got the guts to shoot it off. Well, come on in. Get on in. Take my goat and give him some water for me, boy. Get it on down or we're gonna take it. Come on in. I guess we better wait a while longer. I see Crown coming. Looks like he ain't gonna stand no fooling. His best with the... Listen to oh. Porgy. I think he's so for Crown's best. <laughs> I never swapped two words with that. Porgy got too much sense to look twice at that liquor guzzling slut. That gal ain't fit for God-fearing ladies to associate I said the same with. Thing. Between the God-fearing ladies and the God-cussing men, that gal ain't got a chance. Can't you keep your mouth off, Bess? Didn't I tell you Poggy was soft on her? <laughs> no, brother. Poggy ain't soft on no one. He passed by singing. He passed by crying. They look in my door and they keep on moving. When God may cripple, he mean him to be lonely. Night time, day time, he's got to travel that lonesome road. to travel that lonesome road. <laughs> Tell me, Bess, do you like the little present I sold the crown for you? I like it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Give me a prank and make it quick. All right, crown. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. Nothing but the best for you, Carl. Man, Bess. That whiskey's just as weak as water. See that huzzy drinking like any man? Here, Robbins. Have one to all the God-fearing ladies. There's nothing like them, thank God. No, you don't. Nobody's gonna drink my liquor. All right, men, I'm talking to you. Two says you're wrong. Anybody answer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Everybody in? Everybody in. Uh, <laughs> cover them, brother. Cover them. Cover them. Look. I'm gonna pass them on to you and see if I can't break my luck in here. Yeah. Robin's old lady only allowed him 50 cents and he can't take no chances on bad luck. <laughs> That's all right, honey boy. I'll stake it when the four bits are gone. Here. Go ahead and play. You don't need charity off no she-devil. See what I do for you? Your woman's easy when you know the way. Shut your mouth. You don't give Mingo a chance to talk to the bone. Boy, you're right. 
Your mammy is gone and your daddy's happy. Come home, little bones, come home to Pappy. Oh, to make some for. <laughs> Give me a picture of Happy Duck Sport in Life. Don't get him that stuff Sport in Life. He's ugly drunk already. Pay him and suck. Ice and Happy Dust don't mix, man. You better go slow. Please, old man. Please, please, please. Let him alone. I shoot three down. Look, I'll take it. Give me a quarter. Forty All right. Hey, damn it, I ain't read it. Crown, cock, cock, drum. Cock, cock, you can't tell that's little bit. Cock, 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 cock,
You sport in life? Sure. And I'm the only friend you've got left. Give me a pinch of happy dust. I'm shaking so I can hardly stand it. I'll be going to New York soon. I could hide you out. Take you with me. You and me, we'd make a good team. I ain't come to that yet. Hmm. Well, the cops ain't gonna get me for no woman. Now get out before the police come. You wouldn't have a heart in letting me in? Not your hell, free. Better go report this to headquarters. You're gone now. Did that hurt you? No, Corky. It's safe for you to go now. Can I stay here for a little while? You can stay here as long as you like, Grace.
garden by the tree of life. Is Porgy and Bessie's wicked? What's that woman coming here for? Serena. Serena. I wouldn't. I don't need your money to bury my man. This ain't Crown's money. Porgy, give it to me. Serena. Serena. Does the saucer stand now, Sister Serena? Thirteen dollars and fifty cents. It's coming along fine. You'll be able to bury him real soon. But what am I going to do if we don't get the money? God got plenty of money for the saucer. And he go and soften these people heart for the field of saucer till it spill all over. The Lord will provide a grave for his children. Yes, and he got comfort for the widow. Oh, Jesus. And he go and feed his fatherless children. Yes, he going to raise this poor sinner up out of the grave Hallelujah. and set him in the shining seat of the righteous. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Yeah, Another saucer variant, huh? He didn't leave nothing. Well, you see to it, he's buried tomorrow. Come here. You. Come here. You killed Robbins, and I'm going to hang you for it. Now, come on. I swear I didn't do it, sir. Who did it? You heard me. Who did it? Brown did it. Saw him do it. Are you sure you saw him? I swear to God, I'm telling you the truth, sir. Well, that's easy. I thought as much. Come on. You saw it too, didn't you? Come on, out with it. I don't want to put the law on you. Look at me, beggar. I was in my room. You're a liar.
I didn't do it. Come on. Come on. But I didn't do it. He saw the killer. Take him along and lock him up as a mature witness, Jack. How long are you going to lock him up for? Till we catch Crown. I reckon Crown's loose now in the Palmetto thickets and there's no rope long enough to hang him. Then the old man's out of luck. Remember, you got to bear that body tomorrow. The Board of Health will take him and turn him over to the medical school. Do it, I tell you. See, I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I can't puzzle this thing out. Peter's a good man, Crown's a killer. And there goes Peter to be locked up like a thief. I'm going out no matter what the weather say, take a long pull, boys, but I'm going. Yes, You sir. men must have forgot about the picnic. Don't you know the parade starts up the block about 10 o'clock? Good morning. That's right, morning, men. Sir. We'll go to the picnic today. But tomorrow morning, we'll push that sea gulf clean to the blackfish banks before we wet the anchor. We're with you, Jake. Jake, you're not going to take the seagull to the blackfish banks, are you? Honey, it's time for the September storms. How do you think this boy's going to get a college education if I don't work hard and make money? Right, Poggy? Me? <laughs> you asking me? Oh, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got no car, got no mule, I got no misery. The folks with plenty of plenty got a lock on their door. Afraid somebody's going to rob them while he's out on making more. What for? I got no lock on the door. That's no way to be. They can steal the rug from the floor. That's okay with me, cause the things that I prize, like the stars in the skies, all are free. Oh, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got my gal, got my song, got heaven the whole day long. No use complaining, got my gal, got my lord, got my song. I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got the sun, got the moon, got the deep blue sea. The folks with plenty of plenty got to pray all the day. Seems with plenty you sure got to worry how to keep the devil away. About hell till the time arrives. Never worry long as I'm well. Never want to strive to be good, to be bad. What the hell? I is glad I'm alive. Oh, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got my gal, got my song, got heaven a whole day long. No use complaining, got my girl, got my lord, got my soul. Hello, Clara. Morning, Jake. Lovely day for a picnic. Sure thing, Squirtle. This is a church picnic, not for your kind. Hello, Bess. Going to the picnic? No. I'm staying home. Yeah. Picnic's all right for these small town folk. You and me, we used to the highlight. We understand each other. You know, I can't see for the life of me what you hang around this place for. And with your looks, Bess, and your way with the boys, 
Hey, that's big money for you and me in New York. I can't remember ever meeting a no good. And I like less than I do you. What about a little happy dust? For old times' sake. I'm through with that stuff. Give me a hand. Tell you I'm through. Just a pinch. Not enough to hurt a bleed. No. I give up, Joe. You tell it to somebody else. Nobody ever gives up happy dust. Oh, go. for a piece of a man. Sporting life, you stay away from my woman or I'll break your neck. I'd like to see a lousy cripple like you break my neck. No, go on now. I'm gonna get my hands on you once more and you see soon enough. Now get out, Brad. Get out, buzzer. You remember, Bess. Your men friends come and go. But sporting life and happy does. They'll always be around. and sing and dance for two instead of one. What no wrinkle on your brow, no how, because the sorrow of the past is all done, done. Oh,
to the words of the Holy Scripture. And the Lord said to himself, I gotta get busy and make me some kinfolk. Yeah. 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 Adam. Yeah. Then you see that Adam got one extra rib to spare. Yeah. 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 So he take that extra rib yeah. and he make woman from a spare rib. Yeah. 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 The Lord got The Lord got Kinfolk. That's right. Kinfolk. The Lord got you. And the good book got you. And you all got the good book bad. But it ain't necessarily so. It ain't necessarily so. The things that you're liable to read in the Bible, it ain't necessarily so. Little David was small, but oh my. Little David was small, but oh my. He fought big Goliath, who laid down and died. Little David was small, but oh my. Wadu! Zimbabalu! Scatawadalala! Scatawa! Oh, Jonah, he lived in the whale. For he made his home in that fish's abdomen. And oh, Jonah, he lived in the whale. Little Moses was found in a stream. Little Moses was found in a stream. He floated on water till old Pharaoh's daughter she fished him, she said, from that stream. Yeah, it ain't necessarily so. It ain't necessarily so. They tell all you chillin' The devil's a Ow! villain, but it ain't necessarily so. Till get into heaven, don't snap for seven. Live clean, don't have no fault. Yeah, oh, I takes that gospel whenever it's possible, but with a grain of salt. Methuselah lived 900 years. Methuselah lived 900 years. But who calls that living when no gal will give in to no man what's 900 years? Man. 
assembly. You go on a decent picnic of the Lord, and when the Christians turn their back, you start behaving like Sodom and Gomorrah. There's that whistle. Get on the boat, all you wicked children. Better hurry up or you miss that boat. If that boat leaves without me, there'll be some sick monkeys when I get back to Catfish Row. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bess. Ah, oh, my goodness. Got no Hurry up there, Bess. Ah, Wasn't that a nice picnic? day to see you. I'm almost dead on this island. You don't look almost dead. You look bigger and stronger than ever. Oh, I got plenty to eat. Bird eggs, oysters. But I'm almost dead. I'm so lonesome. With not one person to swap a word with. I'm glad you come. A case day, Crown. Crown! The boat will go without me. Damn that boat. You got any happy dust, sweetie? No. No, I give up happy dust. I'm living with Porgy now. And I'm living decent. <laughs> Porgy? <laughs> you sure got funny taste in men. <laughs> in a couple of weeks, I'm coming for you. And you're gonna be there. Unless you wanna meet your God. You get that? Take your hands off me. I'm gonna miss the bow. You telling me you'd rather have that cripple and crown? It's like this crown. I's the only woman Porgy ever had. And I'm thinking now how it'll be tonight when all those other people go back to Catfish Row. He'll be sitting and watching the big front gate. A Other women. What do I want with other women? I got a woman, and that's you. Yeah. 
yes, that he is you, yes. I need to know and to mind just as long as I want you. No cripple's gonna take my woman from me. You got a man tonight, and that. I'm telling you now, I'm your man. You ain't going nowhere. Take your hands off me, I'm basic. Take your hands off. Take them off. Take your hands off me, man. Take them off. I know you didn't change, but you and me will always be the same. Breakfast I got time for. It's getting late. I'm on my way. Come on, you fishermen. It's time to travel. All right, Jake. Right with you. Come on, Mariah. Good morning, Jake. No matter what the weather says, and when I say I'm going, I mean going, and I'm leaving at the break of day. I got a blister on my setting down place. I got a blister in my hand, but I'm gonna row this little boat. Trust me, God. Till I anchor in the promised land You take a long road to get there You take a long road to get there You take a long road to get there But I'll anchor in the promised land This woman very sick, more than a week now. She went to the picnic, got lost in the jungle, and didn't come home for two days. I think she's gone to sleep now. It's been more than a week and she ain't ready yet. Peter, welcome home, old friend. Porgy, I advise you send that girl to the county hospital. I won't let him take best to no hospital. Hospital? Must be you all forget how I prayed Clara's baby out of convulsions. 
There ain't never been a sick person or a corpse in Catfish Row. I refuse my prayers. You pray over her, sister. You give her your prayers. Oh, Dr. Jesus. Go to trouble the water in the Sea of Galilee. Amen. Likewise, who didn't cast the devil out of the afflicted? Time and time again. Time and time yes, again, Lord. Lord. Oh, Dr. Jesus, how come you ain't lay your hands on this poor sister's head? Oh, my father. And cast the devil out of her down the steep place into the sea, like you used to do. Time and time. Time again. Time and time yes. again, dear Lord. Lift up this poor cripple out of the dust. Hallelujah. And lift up this woman and make her well. Time and time again. Time and time again, dear Jesus. And save us all for Jesus' sake. Amen. 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 Dr. Jesus has taken the case now, Porgy. When the church bell strikes six, your woman's going to be well. No! No, don't! Take your hands off me! Take your hands off me! Take your hands off me! And your hands And stop! Thank 
thank God. I've been sick, Kena. You've been very sick. Now I got your back. How long I've been sick? Over a week now. You come back from Kitiwa with eyes like fireball. Mariah put you in bed. <laughs> you didn't even know me. Understand lots of things. He didn't give strong men. You don't want me to go away. No, I don't want you to go away. How things stand at you and Crown. He, he's coming for me. When the cotton comes to town. You going? I tell him yes. <sighs> I can't try to keep no woman who don't want to stay. You want to go to crowd? That's for you to say. I don't want to party. <laughs> but when I see him, it's like he hypnotized me. And then when he touched me. Bess, Bess, if there were no crown, if there were just you and Poggy, what then? To be afraid no more. You picked up happiness and laid your worries down. You're gonna live easy, you're gonna live high, you're gonna outshine every woman in this town. And remember, when crown come, that's my business. been standing on the street looking at the water so long, Clara. It's getting dark. I hate to think of Jake out there when it gets dark in the daytime. You got no cause to worry about your man. 
I've never seen the water look so black. Just sitting there waiting and holding its breath. Waiting for that hurricane bell. Hurricane bell? Lord, child, there ain't gonna be no hurricane. I'm getting old now, and I haven't heard that bell ring but four times in my life. Hey, you go along with your baby now and quiet down. I'll be home soon. Song make you forget your troubles and lift up that burden of sorrow off your heart. I'm almost out of my mind with your singing. You got to sing praises to the Lord. Gabriel sound that trumpet, and the graveyard spew up the dead. Oh, we've had storms before. I ain't so sure this is judgment day. Well, anyhow, it ain't no time to take no chances. across Kittywire, and nobody can live in a storm like this on that island. I guess you got me for keeps now, boy.
knocking at the door. knocking at the door. You didn't hear nothing. Nobody knocked. I hear death knocking no. at the door. Open the door, Mingo, and show Peter that there's nobody there. Oh, You're a fine bunch of Christians. Shut a friend out in a storm like this. Whose friend are you? I'm your friend, sister. Well, here's the woman I'm looking for. Why don't you come and say hello to your man? I'm not your woman. It's sure time I was coming back to you, sweet Bess. You ain't done much for yourself while I've been gone. Ain't there no hole in left? Keep your mouth off, Porgy. Woman, if you want to meet your God, come here. Porgy's my man now. You call that a man? <laughs> Woman, I got the forgiven nature and I'm going to take it back. Take your hand off me. You'd better behave yourself in this storm. Don't you know God might strike you dead? <laughs> if God wanted to kill me, he had plenty a chance between here and Kitty Wallen. Me and him having it up all the way from Kitty Wallen. First him on top, then me on top. There ain't nothing he likes better than a scrap with a man. God and me, his friend. You hear that? God's laughing at you.
<laughs> you low living skunk, ain't you got no shame laughing at them poor women singing for their men lost in the storm? I just don't see no sense in making such a fuss over a man that's already dead. <laughs> Besides, when a woman loses her man, there's plenty of men still living that like a nice looking gal. I know it ain't them gals you're after. Can't you see Bess ain't got no use for you? Can't you see Bess got a man? I see more than that, good sister. I see she got two men. What do you mean by that? Bess got two men. Brown's dead, ain't he? I ain't telling you nothing. <laughs> but when a gal's got one man, she got him for keeps. Maybe. But when she got two men, <laughs> there's apt to be a carving. <laughs> then the cops come, and they take the leavings. And pretty soon, she ain't got none. <laughs> now you cut that out, sporting life. Cut it out! I'm gonna squash you like a bug. I'm gonna squash you so flat that nobody will be able to trip over you. Get on out of here. Get, get, get on out of here. Ah! <laughs> What are we all gonna do with that poor motherless baby? What do you mean, we? I just mean we. It must be Clara come back from the dead and say something to you I don't hear. I don't hear her say nothing about we. Somebody's gotta give this child a proper Christian raisin and you ain't the one. What do you mean I ain't the one? Who said that? Clara say it? The baby say it? The baby don't say nothing, Serena. He thinks already I'm his mom. Don't tell him I ain't. Please, Serena, don't tell him I ain't. When Bess was sick, you prayed for her to live. Let her live, Serena.
body like that, why do you run around hunting for death? I ain't just hunting for death. I'm after my woman. Leave her alone, Crown. She's fixed for life with Porgy now. Why don't you get out of here and give that girl a chance? It takes a long time to learn one woman. Me and Bess. We fight that out all these past five years now. Crown, if you're thinking on doing anything rough, I'm don't... Just thinking about that. Just come to see how Bess is after the hurricane. She's all right. That's all I want to know. My man.
See? Nobody lives here. We'll put the widow through first. Come on out here, Serena Robbins, and make it damn quick. Serena has been in her bed sick for three days, and I've been with her all the time. You tell her if she don't come out here, I'll put her in a wagon and run her right in. Serena Robbins, where were you last night? I've been sick in this bed for three days and three nights. And we've been nursing her all that time. That's the God's truth. Would you swear to that? Yes, yes sir. sir. We, we swear, swear to, that. to that. There you are, an airtight alibi. Serena Robbins, you come down here. Now, just two months ago, right here, Crown killed your husband, didn't he? Answer me. You'll either talk here or in jail. Did Crown kill your husband, yes or no? We, we swear, swear to that, that, sir. And last night, right here, Crown got his, didn't he? Come on along. Ain't the gentleman say we got an alibi? Was Crown killed here last night, yes or no? We, we ain't, ain't seen, seen nothing, nothing, sir. We've been in this room three days and three nights, and the window been closed. Serena, you mean to tell me the man who killed your husband was murdered in this courtyard, and you didn't even know it? We ain't seen nothing, sir. We've been in this room three days and three nights, and, and the, the window, window been closed. closed. Well, we might as well argue with the parrot, but we'll never break their story. Try the cook shop, woman. Good with that cleaver. How are you with a knife? No good slice or sharp with a knife. How about a man? Depends on the man. Some men too tough to kill with a knife. You got to whomp off their head. How about Crown? Oh, he's a tough one to kill. He is, huh? Well, he was stabbed, he was strangled, and he was dumped into the ocean. I wouldn't kill Crown. Might make him a little sick. Brown is dead. Well, what do you know? What do you know, Mariah? Who, me? I don't know nothing. I'm the know nothing this woman on Catfish Road. I'm lovable, but I'm dumb. get somebody to identify the body. I'll get you a witness for your inquest. Step over here, I'll put that cripple through. All right, come on out, both you beggars. Step lively. What's your name? Poggy. You know me, sir. You see me on Meeting Street? Oh, of course, you're the goat man. I didn't recognize you without your wagon. I'm the coroner, not a policeman. Now, this dead one, Crown, you knew him by sight, didn't you? You'd know him if you saw him again. I, seems like I remember him when he used to come around. Well, you're going to look at him again, right now. Come on. There's nothing to be afraid of. All you got to do is view the body as a witness and tell us who it is. You want me to look on Crown's face? That's all. Won't be the only man in the, in that room. Just you and Crown, if you can still call him one. Can I take somebody with me? Can, can I take my wife? You with can't me? take nobody. 
Not even your goat. Oh, I, I don't want to... Now, get this. I have summoned you, and you have to go. Or you'll go to jail for contempt of court. All right, I'll... What am I going to do? You got to go, Porgy. Maybe you can just make like you're looking at him and keep your eyes shut. You've only got to be a witness, that's all. I ain't so sure about that. All I know is, when the man that killed Crown walks in that room and looks at him, Crown's wounds are going to begin to bleed. Jesus. That's one sure way the cops got to know him who killed him. Can't look at Crown. Lord, what am I going to do? I ain't going to look at Crown. Then run, Porgy. Sister, that cripple ain't gonna be no witness now. They're gonna lock him up in jail. Not for long, Sport Life. Not too long. Maybe one year, maybe two years, maybe. No. He look on Crown. Crown's wound's gonna bleed. And when Porgy see that. He's gonna give himself away. And then he's done for. The detective gonna come and take him. Put him in jail. He'll die for murder. No, no, no. Put you up, sister. No, no. Put you up. No, sporting life's got the stuff that's gonna scare away that lonesome blues. No, I don't want none of that stuff. That's the stuff, ain't it? Remember, Bess, there's plenty more where that came from. There's a boat that's leaving soon for New York. Come with me. That's where we belong, sister. You and me can live that High life in New York, come with me. There you can't go wrong, sister. I'll buy you the swellest mansion up on Upper Fifth Avenue. And through Harlem we'll go strutting, we'll go a strutting, and there'll be nothing too good for you. I'll dress you in silks and satins, in the latest Paris styles, and your blues you'll be forgetting, you'll be forgetting, and there'll be no fretting, just nothing but smiles. Come along with me. Me. That's the place. Don't be a fool. Come along. 
Nothing over on me. They take me in a room with Crown. I look on Crown's face. You looked on Crown's face, Porgy? I sure did. And his wound didn't bleed either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to let on I'm home yet. See if you'll go back there and get me those packages, boy. I got a surprise for Bess. Sweet Bess. I don't want her to know until I get everything ready. Thank you, sir. That's for you, boy. <laughs> all right? You get under this and make all the blue jays and the red birds jealous. Isn't this the style for my best, though? You know, she's one girl who always looks so good in red. And look at that cut. Huh? Hey, hey, everybody. <laughs> I guess I'm the first man who ever went to jail poor and came out rich, huh? <laughs> All the time I got my little action with me, you know, and I ran through those crap shooting polecats like wind through the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Mariah? I know, I know the baby ain't big enough to wear anything like this yet, but he's growing. Is that nice? <laughs> Bess? Bess, Poggy's home. Wait till that gal sees me. 
Hey, Mingo. Yes, Porky, what is it? What's the matter with you all? Boy, it sure is a funny welcome for a fellow who just got out of jail for being in contempt of court. Ah, <laughs> oh, Serena. Good morning, Porky. Girl, you sure work fast. Here I am gone a week and you come up with a new baby. Hey. That's Bliss's baby. Where'd you get it? Where is Bessie? Where's my best? Yes. You tell me quick now. I told you that one was no good for you, Paul. I ain't asking your opinion. Oh, best, oh, where's my best? Won't somebody tell me where? I ain't care what she said. I ain't care what she done. Won't somebody tell me where's my best? Best? Oh, Lord, my best. That I was gone till I got home to see a face. Won't somebody tell me where's my bed? Sporting life made her believe you were locked up forever, gone for the rest of your days. And and she believed him. And she got very low in mind, and she's gone. She, she was no good for you, Porky, or she'd never gone away. Now, you try and forget about Bess. Bess is dead. She's worse than dead, Porgy. She gave herself to the devil. Still living, and she's gone far away. Alive? Bess is alive? Where's she gone? New York. I hear you say New York. Where's that? A thousand miles from here. Which way, New York? Oh, it's, it's way up north. It's, it's way, way past the custom house. Bring my goats. Oh, what do you want with your goat, Parker? You, you best not go any place. Hurry, boy, bring my goat. You better stay with your friends, Porgy. You'll be happy bring here. Bring my goat, see. But you won't find her, Porgy. For the Lord's sake, Porgy, where are you going? Where are you going, Porgy? 
Can you say Bess gone in New York? That's where I'm going. I gotta be with Bess. God help me to find her. I'm on my way. Bless you, honey. Good luck, Porgy. Oh, Lord, I'm on my way. I'm on my way to a heavenly land. I'll ride that long, long road if you are there to guide my hand. Oh, Lord, I'm on my way. 